YouTube. It's your boy Ill Will getting back at y'all with another Pro Tools tips and tricks video. Um, I actually wanted to talk about parallel compression with y'all a little bit today. Um, show you how it's used on drums a lot. They also call this the New York, New York style of mixing, I think it is. So um, I just wanted to you know go through it, show you how I set it up, and show you the difference it can make on your drums. All right. So um, let's just um, get into it here. What I actually did was, actually I come in here and first things first is um, create your aux track, a stereo aux track, and name it your drum mix. This will be where all your drum sounds actually come in. Okay, this will give you better control over your overall drum sounds instead of going to individual uh, faders and moving them up and down. All right, so one, you go ahead and do that. And once you get that made, what you do is you, on the input of it, find a bus, a open bus you have, which I had one, uh, one, two open. And once you find that bus, you make the input one, two. And then you come, let me get this out the way for you guys. Then you come to your drums, and on each one of your drum tracks, make your output bus one, two. Okay, so that'll send all your drum sounds over to your drum mix channel. as you see right there all right so y'all don't mind this one at the moment um after you do that and you know and you've done some mixing as i have on some of these um and after you've done some mixing on these drums it got a good sound but it just doesn't have that boom for you what you do is is actually come back and make you another aux track now on this aux track you change you make the input another open bus which mine was three four bus three four was open all right um when you you get that made make sure it's a stereo aux guys always make sure it's a stereo aux um pick your compressor which i'm using a foster compressor i love this thing this is awesome for drums if um you don't have it um i suggest you go out and get it it's pretty awesome it really helps with this whole parallel compression thing it really gives you a good low end boom um the compression settings on here, um, threshold is around 15, uh, 16 dB. Um, a little bit more input on the gain, input gain on the input, um, ratio of 5 to 1, a uh, very fast attack, and pretty fast release. All right, um, point, I say uh, point 0.4, somewhere in that area. Um, after you find that, you know, find your compressor and um, set it to some of these set settings similar to this or use your own settings, you know, whatever your preference is. You come over here to your drum tracks. Now in your send section, sends A through E. Pick you a send that you have the input on the uh, parallel compression track, which would be send 3-4 for me. And you check it, all right? Now to come up, now what you do is, is actually, all of them will be at the bottom here. Hold Alt, click on the fader, it'll go to zero. And once you have that done on the first one, what you can do is actually hold the Alt key, click, drag and drop, click, drag and drop, click, drag and drop, so on and so forth, until you have it on every one of your drum tracks. Now that I have that on my drum tracks, I also have it muted out at the moment so I can actually show you the difference in it okay so I'm gonna start playing it with it muted and I'll unmute and mute it as I go through for one or two seconds a piece so you can actually tell the difference so here we go So, as you can tell, parallel compression can give you some low-end knock that you just couldn't get before. Um, it's a neat little trick. It's used by a lot of engineers, that actually, especially in hip-hop. Um, David Aaron, um, there's a lot of different other producers, which Dave Aaron is one of my favorite engineers when it comes to hip-hop. He did artists such as uh, Wu-Tang, Tupac, um, pretty much anybody on death row. 
you know um he did a lot of great artists and mixed a lot of great albums so um i hope this helps you out um if you have any questions head on over to our forum it's uh www.fatassmixes.com forward slash forum or you can just go to fatassmixes.com and click the forum button and there's also a link on my youtube channel a big button on the right at the top that says Fat Ass Mixes Form. You can click and go there too. Go sign up, drop your questions about this video or parallel qu uh, compression or any other questions you have. Just sign up. We got 32 members on there, so there's plenty of people there to help you with what you're doing. Um, just drop us a line, let us know what your thoughts are, and ask a question. Well, I'm sure we can help you out. If I can't, there's somebody on there that can't. All right, so y'all keep making music, keep it real. It's your boy, Ill Will.